an aide to former U.S. President Donald Trump, appeared in Miami federal court on Monday to face charges he tried to help the former president hide secret documents taken upon leaving office. Carlos de Oliveira, the property manager of Trump's Mar-a-Lago estate in Palm Beach, Florida, did not enter a plea and was released on $100,000 bond. De Oliveira's lawyer, John Irving, spoke to reporters briefly after the hearing. The Justice Department has unfortunately decided to bring these charges against Mr. De Oliveira. And now, now it's time for them to put their money where their mouth is. De Oliveira is accused of trying to delete security camera footage and lying to investigators. He is charged with four counts, including obstruction of justice. He is the second Trump employee accused of conspiring with the former president in the documents case. In June, prosecutors charged Trump and his aide, Walt Nada, alleging Trump haphazardly stored hundreds of classified documents at his Mar-a-Lago home and enlisted staff to hide them from investigators. Trump pleaded not guilty to 37 criminal counts. Nada also pleaded not guilty. During a radio interview last week, Trump said that he had turned over all security camera tapes the government had asked for. A superseding indictment unveiled on Thursday added charges against Trump and Nada along with De Oliveira, and a sign the case is widening. Trump has yet to enter a plea on the latest charges, and his legal troubles could soon grow. Trump on Monday lost a bid to quash a probe by a Georgia prosecutor into allegations the ex-president tried to undermine the 2020 election results in that state. Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis has indicated she intends to ask a grand jury to approve charges sometime in the next three weeks.